This week, Lori's at the Great American Realtor Day in Tallahassee, and Senator Jack Glatvella returns to the show to cook arroz con pollo. In the last segment, we finished browning off the chicken. You don't want to cook it through because we're going to cook it later. We browned the onions, we've got our red peppers, we've got our garlic, that you did such a fine job doing. And we're going to talk about homeless. Uh, I'm going to have you dump one cup of white wine right in here real quick, and I'll stir that while you're telling me about, uh, about your homeless bill with Kathleen Peters and what it is and why you think we need it. Well, last year when the governor did his line item vetoes after we had session and presenting the budget, I noticed that a number of the vetoes were homeless projects. It wasn't because the governor didn't like homeless projects, it was because they were all put in the budget as, as turkeys from legislators. So if you had a, a legislator that was in a powerful enough position to get something in the budget, then you got money for your homeless project locally. And I decided then that we needed a little more cohesive approach to putting state money into homeless projects. Right now, there's just a minuscule amount of money that goes out to local governments. So most of the responsibility for homeless projects rests with cities and counties. Right, right. So our bill that I'm doing with Representative Peters provides a dedicated funding source to be used for so-called challenge grants for the local governments to be able to access to spend the money locally as they deem fit. Live with Lori, Political Food for Thought is brought to you by the Florida Realtors and partially sponsored by Kaiser University.